Nate. How's it going, everybody? I'm Nate. Welcome this back. This is Yeti. Welcome back to the shack. Of, dude, I'm just going to grab five of these. Dude, should we buy the new Shack Fu game? No. Okay. That's okay, guys. On, the, <laughs> on this episode, we're going to go back into another dungeon. And Yeti and I are going to record for 47 more minutes. What's going to happen in the next 47 Nate, minutes? Let's over an hour. Yeah, it has. It's 11.23 right now. Isn't that funny? Okay, look at this. Yeah, I see it. Dun uh You know what's weird? Half the sound effects only come out of one speaker. It was actually... Did it have Dolby Surround? I don't know. That would be so cool. It probably did. Wait, for <laughs> the appearance of this particularly frightening crevasse, the data is horrifying! Uh, courage is, the, is one thing, but recklessness... Something else. Sorry, I was having like hiccups, kind of. Perhaps if you turn back. Well, if you still wish to enter, keep your daring in check and just focus on surviving. Dude, those French toast sticks were delicious, though. Yeah. The problem is, you only get 16 in a box, five is a serving, and eight is, you know, will fill you up. You know? Yeah, we just came out of a horrible dungeon and right Going back, into, back into another horrible dungeon. Dude, what if they announced the Pikmin HD collection for the Switch? That's what a lot of people... That's what Tyler Cedarwall is predicting. You know Tyler Cedarwall, yeah. Good guy. I want to meet the man. Are you ready for another hellhole? If, if I met attacking toucans, I don't know what I'd do. I'd what run because he's swole. What part is this? I have no idea, John. That's the problem. We haven't uploaded... Oh, dear. We haven't uploaded a single episode of this yet. There's gonna be Trap City. Trap City. Trap, Trap City, chick. See, there you go. I, I sang the censored version, John. It's Rock City. I know. But there's traps in here, as in explosives that fall from the sky. Ooh, that looks delicious. Yeah, that looks good, huh? You see, urine's delicious. You can grate that. You can grate babies. You can grate balloons. You know what I'm talking about? Oh. Djibouti dubs? Do you remember that? Nice. You remember the Djibouti Dubs, uh, the greater plater? I like how Djibouti Dubs at least had, he had a whole bunch of honor when Billy Mays passed and he stopped doing Billy Mays videos. Remember that? Yep. He even did like a touching tribute to him. You know. Yep. What the heck? They activated that other bomb in the distance. Where did he throw that? You see that? I don't know. There's another bomb way out there. Way out there. At least when you get bucked, it does nothing. Like, look at that. It probably did something. Though. That's because we have the armor. Yep. Light these bombs. Come on, baby, throw some bombs. Can their fire light the bombs? No, but run. That's gonna trigger other bombs. Nice. Dude, I just... The bomb guys suck. Those guys... It ain't even funny. I need you to push the bomb right next to him, oh dear. Did I get hit? Yeah, you did. Well, dude, you got your revenge. Did, did the bombs also blow up the electric things? Yeah. Nice. Did nice. I get a hit though? Yeah, you did. You got burned. And I like the way it hurts. I don't think I got hit. But no, dude, you did. Well, they said you did, so you did. Well, I guess he just likes throwing bombs. You don't f with a moose throwing bombs. I like the most annoying enemies. Yeah, I know. They suck. Whistle. Whistle. I think he's gonna die. Yep. It's really cool when you he's bomb not, he's him. Not dead, you moron. No, dude, he got hurt by his bomb though. Wrong. I said, they don't get hurt by their own bombs. Really? I thought they did. Nope. So okay, there's just is there one more or two more? Two. I'm yeah, I see him. I see him. I hate how like crazy it is with how it throws the bombs. It's like when you are hurting him when he has a bomb and it's like on him. It's really weird how, like, sometimes he'll drop it, like, right below him, and sometimes he'll, like, toss it. Mm -hmm. Watch, because you're right next to the edge, too. A yellow guy just fell into the void. Did he? Yeah, he like 99. Damn. I literally saw it happen. That was so bad. That's you know? the problem this game. Is that there's voids? I think we should send this enemy straight into the void. Oh, cool, he blew up that electric one by himself. Look. Yep. And does he like cough up the bombs? Wow. Yeah, it comes out of his mouth. Weird. 
As soon as we're not in a stressful situation, guys, then we'll do it. Just don't let him shake. There's another void right here. Yep. It's all cliff around here. Yeah, I know. It's all cliffs around these parts. You know what we should play on the show? The Rango game. I thought you already did that. No, I didn't. I was going to with Steven and Joey, and then it got canceled. We should play that. Or I should play that, but then I'd have to borrow your PS3 or buy a 360 copy. How much would a 360 copy cost? Alright, you look into it. I will look into it. I'll work on it. I don't have my phone on me. I just left it plugged in downstairs. That so. dude's gonna get a hernia. Yeah, he is. He's like, Aah! you know. Yeah. He's trying his darndest. At least there's two treasures on this floor. That makes it good. Yeah, the other dungeon's the only one where that's like one treasure for floor kind of thing. Yeah. Sweet. And up we go. It's yet another marble. I'm losing my marbles over here. Mirth here. <sighs> Mirth. Why is there so many marbles? I don't know. It's Wasn't ridiculous. one called Friends Frankincense too? What? No. Frankenberry. No. Yeah, yet, yet another marble. It's kind of cool how they did the clear though. That's like really nice. Yeah, it is nice. They did it really well. Like look at the look at the shininess on it. Pretty sweet. Now this thing here is probably less expensive. Yeah, it's a big chocolate with a single almond in it. Do you notice too, this is part of the same set where a lot of the stuff from uh, oh, yeah. the Submerged Castle came yeah, from? Yeah, because it's the same logo on the side of the paper around the suite. Yeah. I heard you like sweets, so here's one in the size of your house. Most of that set comes from the uh, Dang. Submerged Castle. But yeah, did you hear me? It's and literally yeah, as tall as you. Like the almond, the almond is as tall as you are. Yeah. Look, it's enamel buster. Yeah, that's funny. They, they even know it's bad for you. See that? Yep. Yeah, that's worth 60 bucks right there. It'll F up your whole teeth. Oh. That's really nice. I like that. Woohoo! Yeah. yeah! Yeah. But seriously, John, the Ringo game, I should probably buy a PS3 soon. You know, that's the problem is uh, I have too many consoles. Mm hmm. That's. Okay, so we're the last single guy so far, so I'm feeling pretty good about this, you know what I mean? Yeah. If I get a PS3, though, I have to get the Gen 3 PS3. Yeah. Which is the one that Steven has. It's the dumbest one, because instead of, like, a disc tray or, a, you know, a mouth that just eats the disc, you take a pan on the top, you slide it like a freaking slider door outside of your deck, and you put the disc in on top, and then you slam the door. It's so uh, weird. That's the PS3 that Steven has. He got the white edition, super slim. Because your PS3 is just the Slim, which is pretty sweet. It's weird, though, because they've also made... Hey, he's rubbing his hands together. He's ready. Uh, the freaking... What's his name? Oh, dear. You see what I see? Yep. But no, uh, if you look, they've already made three yeah, that's not PS3s. the half of it. Yeah. Or the, the third, third of it. it. Yeah, there's two flies and three melties. Too close. Too close! <laughs> to close your eyes. Tighter. Too tight! Remember? Can I fight these guys with my fist? No. You're not fireproof yet, are you? Nope. So I'm guessing no, spaghetti. Don't risk it. Yeah, just run. <laughs> not worth it, not worth it, not worth it. Not worth it. Give me some red, guys. Oh man, it's only floor two. <laughs> Don't stab the monster. Red eye. Remember? Damn it, Oliver! Fuck Oliver! I don't we mean Oliver. He's a good boy. You got one white guy with you. Yep. You actually got more. Okay, now give Oliver a chance to do the kick dance. Ready? Oh dear. I hate these guys. They look creepy though, because one of their eyes is all like, you know? Yeah. One of his eyes is crazy large, large. It's true. Go back to bed, man. <laughs> Go to sleep. Actually, we have enough time. I can actually do a maneuver like this. Put him in a chokehold. Put him in uh, Cupid's chokehold. There you go. Okay. Attack. Oh, retreat. Yeah, I guess it's a lot less stressful because there's the line. When he's like, oh, whatever. I'll just go back to sleep. You know what I hate? The boppets. Shut up. Because when they're... He's going. The boppets, when they're in like demo mode in stores, like they'll... When a kid doesn't mess with them for like five minutes, and it'll go into battery saver mode, and then the stupid bopping announcer goes, "I'm going to sleep," you know. 
Mm-hmm. It's not the worst thing, guys. Like four years ago, when I started my one of my jobs, um, there was a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle toy, and we only had uh, who's the blue one? Leo? Yeah, Leo. Vince would be mad at me if I didn't know who the blue one was. That was Leo. Um, but he would say cool things for like a month, and he'd be like, "Booyakasha, yeah, where's Shredder?" And then after a month, as soon as his batteries got below like half. He'd go, it's time to change my batteries. And you could hear it like four aisles over. It was so annoying. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So Andrew and I, when he used to work there as well, he would also just say that randomly. Yeah. It's time to change my batteries. Yeah, I need to buy What Do You Meme before I leave that place, though. Have you seen that board game, John? It's just Cards Against Humanity, but with memes. So, it, how it works is there's a deck of just meme formats, so it's just a picture. And then you have another deck of, like, just funny captions. And then when the, the when the turn phase starts, the... So it rotates. Oh, no, 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 no. So it rotates, like, oh god. So it rotates counterclockwise to whoever's playing. And then... There he goes, he's down. Get him. And then uh, whoever does that plays one of their meme ca cards that's just a picture. And then the other people draw five funny captions. And then they, like, submit their funny caption face down towards it. And then the person who picks the picture picks who wins. So they divvy out the points, you know? Oh. So I like games like that. There's a lot of them. There's, Where's his line right there? Yep. So we should get What Do You Meme. My work also got the... Uh, extra fresh meme expansion pack for eight bucks so it comes with uh, 96 more funny phrases and 12 new memes you know problem is he also heals yep yeah he heals a lot faster than any other guy though like he heals faster than the turkeys he heals faster than that spider guy yeah look at him go he's already almost you know at nine o'clock or three o'clock you know what I mean quiet I am going to be quiet. He got he, he got but, caught up on that bar, so... Yeah, but he's almost at 3 o'clock for his health already. He was at, like, 4.30. Yep, he's still at 3. Now he's almost at 6. So I guess if you do this slow tactic, it works. It just yeah, takes we, a we, while. We won't lose any men. Do, 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 do. Because you know what's at the end of this one. Oh, yeah. Come on, you can get past that bar, you're fine. But we're only going to record two more episodes past this, man. Right, two more episodes past this one? Yep. I've got tons of cash, man. I've got tons of cashmere. It takes like three attack phases. Yeah. What is this, Yu-Gi-Oh? I like how if you play the video games or the app, you actually have to do it in phases. So it's the draw phase, then the standby phase, then main phase one, then main or yeah, then main phase two. I thought you were supposed to play then, the Yeah, then the rest phase and then end phase. So main phase one is the only phase you can summon monsters. Did you know that? Mm-hmm. So if you if you're like I don't want to summon monsters on main phase one, but I want to put a card face down, then it would skip main phase one and go to main phase two. And it's so weird because if you're playing like any of the video games, you have to be like, I want to go to main phase two. I want to pick this card. I want to go face down. You know? And then literally, the only thing I don't like about the Yu-Gi-Oh games, you guys know this because I should go back to it, but I did play a Yu-Gi-Oh game on my channel. Uh, but like, when, let's like, let's say you have a uh, negate attack face down, and he attacks. It'll, be, it'll pause the game and it'll be like, do you wish to activate a face-down card? And then if you say no, then no. But sometimes it'll do that after every single phase. So mm. there'll be like a card that's like, you know, get, or do like Nageki, when it's like, do 600 life point damage. And literally after every single phase, it's like, he drew a card. You want to activate it? No. He's about to think about something. You want to you activate it? No. He summoned a monster. You want to activate it? He wants to make sure you're going to do it. So. Yeah. I don't know, it's not... Dude, the best... The best... Freaking... Oh, no! Yeah. I was just... Yeah, it was just one. But still, it's sad. The best freaking Yu-Gi-Oh game is still Yu-Gi-Oh! GX Duel Academy for the DS. You know? 
Okay? Such a good game. That's the one I put the most time into. And it sucks because there isn't really a campaign. Because it'll only, like, continue the campaign after you do specific events. So basically, you just have to keep, you know, going to the overworld. Walk to this location. Are there duelists here? There is. Generic-ass duelist number seven wants to fight. And then you take him out. And then you can only do two of those a day before it goes to the night phase. And then you just go to bed and then you repeat it. Mm -hmm. And then, like, once a week you do tests... At the Duel Academy, when it asks you Yu-Gi-Oh trivia, you know, yeah, it's so weird. That's the one guy who's just doing nothing. He's being a worthless Wayne. Duh. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yu-Gi-Oh is the best card game. There was actually a Pokemon game on the Game Boy Color called Pokemon Trading Card Game. Oopsies. The game. Did you know that? Okay. And how it worked was you actually played the trading card game in a handheld game instead of actually playing Pokemon, and it taught you how to play the trading card game. Because that's another game that nobody knows how to play. Yeah, but everyone just likes buying the cards. Yep. Well, that's because the pictures are cool. You're like, hey, look, it's Sproink, and he's jumping. You like Sproink, John? It's okay. Do you like Grumpig? No. Do you like uh, Swalot? We just pay attention to the game. No, we're talking about Pokemon, not Pikmin. Do you like Trubbish? Not really. Do you like Vanillite? No. Do you like Cub Chew? Yeah. Dude, I'm saying the worst Pokemon here. Do you like Bear Tick? Not really. There's a lot of really bad ones, man. I know. I know Do you, you like Suicune? No. You don't no. like Suicune? Hey, this is a dog, moron. I know he's just an ice dog. This is the last body, right? You know what I hate? Why the why in gold and silver do you can get Entei, Raikou, and Suicune? Yeah, mm. but they show up for one turn and they're like, "Bye." Yeah, it depends on what you chose the starter. To. Yep, you can't get the other two. Yep, it sucks. I hate that. That's the only thing I hate about the Pokemon universe is the legendaries that flee after one turn. A lot of those. Because ninety percent of the time you're not prepared for it. It's just you're like, "Oh, it's gonna be another freaking Tentacool," and then it's like Entei showed up and you're like, "Holy sh!" And then you can't really do anything because you already wasted your Master Ball. That's good. Or you haven't got it yet. Yeah. But yeah, dang. I think that's the Gemstar wife. Yep. My wife. When did What part did we get Gemstar husband? I don't know, a long time ago. Yeah, but here's Gemstar wife. It's like the same thing with pink and yep. also silver because then the other one's gold, gold and green. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Well, green goes with gold, dude. That's a, Man, that's a good combo. How many of these kid rings did we grab already? A lot. Did you hear me though? Green and gold go together like... Yeah. Like peanut butter and jelly. Yeah. We're like water and oil. Yeah, I heard the theme song. Did you get that reference? Yeah. Okay, did you like Brandy and Mr. Whiskers? It's okay, man. And Kaylee Kuoko. That Penny. Yeah, I know. Penny was the voice of Mr. Of, yeah, Mr. Whiskers. She was the voice of Brandy. That show wasn't very good, man. Dude, Charlie Adler was the voice of Mr. Whiskers, though. Hey, moron. We've already talked about I know. this. No, we haven't. Yeah. What what episode then? It was like Grand Theft Auto something. Really? We're talking about Brandy and Mr. Yeah, Whiskers and that? Yeah, exact same thing. Okay. Let me talk about Dave the Barbarian then. How about Lloyd in Space? Recess? You talked about Dave the Barbarian. You want to talk about Lloyd in Space then? Which one's going to sure. make it? Oh my god! The only yeah. thing I remember about Lloyd in Space is the intro sequence, and then there was this one episode when Lloyd lost his appetite, ding, and uh, his mom makes him some float meal. Grr, grr, grr. Do you remember that? And it's literally just a bowl of oatmeal that's hovering above the table. That's right. Anyway, Essence of Despair. Another bedazzled gem. Yeah, Despair. Wait, I already know all about it. What did I it. say? Uh, you said dang, and it's another bedazzled gem is what you said. Yeah. yeah I know, I hear you. And then the ring, two seconds later. Sweet. Also double ding. How many times has that happened? Where like, it's and one... An item, like so a, ding. It's like one, two. Yeah. And that's another ring. The Frosty Bobble. Yeah, Frosty Bobble. The Frosty yeah. Drink. It's a blue square with a gold band. It's like the yep. same thing. And why was there two plastic rings on this one floor? Because one oh, kid... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Did I give enough time on that one? What do you mean? I want to, like, showcase... Yeah, you sh thing. it's fine, man. But after this floor, we're ending the episode. Okay? Because I gotta eat sandwich. Consume Prilosec. Go. I need to show you that video. It sucks. Aaron, Aaron of the Greps, he did a great uh, Larry the Cable Guy impersonation 
like when he was with John Tron, and now it, his when he impersonates Larry the Cable Guy, it's just a generic Southern accent. You know, right? He he devolved. How about you talk about you he, instead of other people? of other people? Um, well, I don't know. I don't want to reveal too much about myself right now. Because cool stuff's happening on the next installment of Pikmin 2. I'll talk about myself then. How about that, John? Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next self-talk. I, I couldn't think of anything. Sorry.